Hello everyone, this is Joshua Smith of Apollo's Artifacts. It is still 2019. This is August 15th. There's something really interesting here about the Bill Clinton, the devil in a blue dress painting that was in Epstein's lair, as they call it here in the Daily Mail article. Now I had to go to the Daily Mail because they have the highest res photo of this particular portrait. Okay, so some people are talking about the red heels that Bill Clinton is wearing in the photo. I'll scroll down to it here so that you can check it out. And they're saying it's like the ruby slippers, you know, from Wizard of Oz, which, of course, brings in all kinds of esoteric symbology and all this kind of thing, right? Other people are saying that this is not Monica Lewinsky's dress, that this is one that Hillary herself wore at one point. But the thing that I find most interesting is actually what is above Bill Clinton's head. Now, we already know that this artist uses symbols in her art. Here, for example, is one that she did of George Bush, where he's playing with paper airplanes, and he has two, uh, basically, towers knocked over in front of him, and he's being all playful and giddy and happy. Of course, has the implication that, uh, you know, at least the artist suspects that he was somehow involved or happy uh, that 9-11 took place. So if we look back over here, what do we see? We see this small bust up here among this row of books. But the smile here is a smile like a joker smile that goes all the way across the face back to the ears, which for me, I think of the Black Dahlia. And of course, the Black Dahlia, anybody who knows about that knows that it's loaded with occult symbolism and all kinds of esoterica has turned up related to the Black Dahlia case over the years. Hollywood is absolutely obsessed with the Black Dahlia. There's also a Japanese urban legend or folklore that's known as the Kuchisaka Ona which is the slit-mouthed girl. This, however, does not match any of the images I was able to find of the slit-mouthed girl. The only thing that I've been able to find that matches it is the Black Dahlia. You can see the before and after photos. You can see various Hollywood depictions of the Black Dahlia. So perhaps this artist is trying to hint at something. Perhaps they're trying to indicate something to us that maybe they know that we don't know. Now, if you go down further, Look at this. So this is the entrance way for the portrait, okay? This matches what is above the door on Epstein's Pedo Island as you go inside of the Pedo Temple, which has what we presume anyway to be Moloch, the great owl that is also in Bohemian Grove. And of course, in Bohemian Grove, they perform a mock child sacrifice, and in ancient times, children were indeed sacrificed to Moloch. But the artist had to know something more if she knew to match this with what we see on the island. And then, of course, once you enter inside, you have Creepy Bill, who's, uh, you know, sort of in this uh, coquettish look, you know, pointing at the person who's looking inside. Here's Hillary in the dress that is in the painting. I can't go into... Uh, too much depth here about the Black Dahlia case. I'll just leave a little nugget for you here that you should actually look into what the late, great Dave McGowan had to say about the Black Dahlia case, what he was able to find, what he was able to turn up. Absolutely fascinating information. I think I'm uh, going to do maybe uh, two more episodes and try to have those put up today as well. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.